time and today you've showed us two completely uh, different projects. One of them connected with um, using and sharing the, the music experience via social media and the other one um, focused on the uh, and the social issues connected with energy systems. How is it for you? I mean, working on such different um, projects and incorporating them uh, within one multi-platform ecosystem. Yeah, it's uh, it's basically it all comes down to the stories, and that's a wonderful thing with the time we are living in right now. Uh, the tech boom has been has been going on for the last decade or so since the dot-com boom. But right, right now, storytellers are needed because you have the technology to tell stories and to reach people on a lot of different platforms. But you need to create the right stories that use these different platforms in the right way to actually connect with people and give them a fuller experience. So it's basically, it doesn't matter if you do corporate storytelling with an energy ambassador out in the jungles of Ecuador, or if you have the top-selling artist, artist in Finland in your studio in Finland. It's all about the story you're trying to tell to the people and what audience, what your target audience is and where they are. Um, I know that we have quite a lot of talented um, creators in Poland who are experimenting with uh, multi-platform productions, as you might have uh, seen for, based on the uh, Film Interactive Market submissions. Do you have any tips uh, for those people um, as a multi-platform uh, guru? But once again, uh, I think they need to look at the story first and foremost. From my own experience, I can say that uh, don't incorporate any technology or any apps or anything unless it's absolutely necessary and it's vital for the story you're trying to tell. We've done that mistake a couple of times already, you know, just going for one technical solution because it sounds really good and should be really cool and we think it would be really nice but it doesn't fit the concept and it just goes on like it doesn't fit at all. So make sure you use the technology you want to use and the, the, that your project needs and not the ones that you, that you just want to use. Perfect. So uh, go for the story and treat the tool as a transparent medium for the, for the way to tell the story. Um, you've also mentioned something, just to jump off the subject a bit, about creative financial models. Yeah. Uh, what did you mean by that exactly? But what we did with the mill with the mill sessions was that we knew that if we wanted to shoot high quality uh, music shows and music videos, the cost would be quite high per episode. So we needed to get a lot of money in. So what we had was the costs were here, and our funding was here. We needed to build the funding so that it matched the costs, of course. Now, how would we do that? Yes, by shooting, by planning to shoot a lot of extra content that we could sell to different uh, funding uh, partners. So we sold music videos to the record companies, Sony, BMG, Warner, etc. We sold the HD version of the show, a longer cut, to a telecom operator who ran an IPTV video on demand uh, uh, service. And then we sold the SD version, the standard definition version, a 23 minute shorter cut to a free-to-air television channel, and so on. So we basically we just took in a lot of content and split it along the storylines, but so that we could sell different parts to different uh, buyers. Sounds complicated. Um, Simon, just to uh, uh, finish up, um, you, uh, apart from being a multi-platform producer, uh, strategist, as I've had the chance to see on the video, you also are a blogger. So um, if somebody wants to uh, find um, the news on the second screen or uh, multi-platform content, where to look for you on the, web, on the, on the World Wide Web? Well, uh, one place to look is if you go to, to scoopit.com and look up Transmedia Scoop. That's where I'll curate, curate, I am curating all the content I can find on multi-platform storytelling, second screen, etc. So just follow that stream and you should be set. Okay, I'll start myself. Uh, I have a Scoop it account. I'll start following, following you starting from today. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank, Thank you, Simon. Thanks Cheers. for being with us. Thank you.